Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MizraAdamation.com and welcome to an all new series from MizraAdamation on Git Basics. And in this whole series, we're going to talk about some of the everyday commands that we will be using for our source control management using Git and how we check in the code, how we check out the code, how we manage our code and how we do a lot of different operation using Git's source control management. And Git, as we all know, is a free and open source version control system originally created by Linus Torvald in 2005. So this is the same author, Linus Torvald, who created the Linux kernel. So it's the same author who created this, which is pretty cool. And unlike older centralized version control systems such as SVN and CVS, Git is a distributed. Every developer has the full history of their code repository locally, and they can see all the different commits which happens and what is a change in the code and everything can be viewed visually within the local code itself, which is pretty cool because again, Git has got a lot of features, which is making Git very, very popular among the source control management system. And I'm not really going to talk a lot of theories about Git itself because you can go and search about Git. A lot more theories are available. I mean, we can keep talking about the theoretical part, but I don't really want to get into that in this particular series. Rather, we'll start directly with the action of working with Git. So the installation of Git, if you are from Windows operating system, you can directly go and download the Git. Just search for Git download. You will get this particular page where you can download for Windows operating system. And if you are from Mac operating system, you don't even have to install Git because Git is available within uh, the Mac OS automatically. So you can just use the one which is available with Mac. And I'm going to be showing all the demo in my Mac operating system. So I'm not going to really download and install anything because it's there out of the box. And then some of the few everyday commands that we will be discussing about along the side of this particular series are going to be these like git config, git init, git add a file, git commit, a file uh, using some message, git push, git remote add, and then git logs. Uh, and then again, within the logs, there are so many options you have got. Similarly, you can see the git status of the file, git diff, branch, rebase, and many more. I mean, all those things we'll be discussing in this particular series. It's gonna be very, very exciting. So instead of wasting a lot of time, once again, on the slides, let's get into the real action. All right. So if you are from Windows operating system, you can just go to this page, gitsem.com and then download the version that you are looking for. And since I am using Mac and you can see that this is the latest version of the SEM available for Mac over here. And I already have the uh, Git within my machine. So I'm not really going to be worried about that. So I'm just going to close this thing over here. And then I need to start working with the Git itself. So I'm just going to open my terminal over here. And let me just make this a bit bigger so that you can see the code over here, which is cool. And I'm just going to clear it. And as I told you, I already have the Git. So if I just type Git hyphen hyphen version, you can see that it is the 2.24, uh, which is from the Apple Git itself, which is cool. Uh, so it's the SEM is already available over here for me. And then we can do certain configuration with the Git. So if I just type something like git uh, config and if I just do a list you can see that it is going to show me all the configuration that I have did within my machine. So it has a username as execute automation and the user email as cardmcat at gmail.com. So this is the same profile going to be used if I try checking in my code, check out my code. In your organization, so if you are going to be using git probably you will have your company's email address and you'll be using the name which is given uh, by the company's computer which will be taken automatically sometime or you may be giving your own uh, name there so that's how the names are going to be so you can see uh, a lot more help of git something like this so you can see within the git whatever that we're going to be seeing like clone init add uh, and similarly move restore uh, all those things are over here like fetch, pull and stuff. And you can also see even more sub commands as mentioned over here like git help hyphen a which will give you even more uh, details about it. So if I just do uh, git uh, help hyphen a over here you can see it's going to give you a lot more uh, details of how you can do. So that's going to be a lot actually. So 
So yes, this is how the commands are going to be. And you can just use that particular command over here. And the project that we are going to be working today is going to be one of the project, which is something that you will be using for your core development or testing purpose. So I'm just going to be replicating exactly the same thing over here. So we're going to be using probably Cypress uh, demo uh, to see how we're going to uh, see, like checking the code and stuff. Again, it's nothing to do with Cypress in this particular video. It's all about how we are going to be uh, modifying a code, how we're going to check in the code once we write the test case, how we're going to check in the code on the source control management, and then how we get the latest codes and stuff. That's how we're going to discuss about the whole details over here. So for doing that, I'm just going to go to the Cypress uh, demo folder. And within the Cypress demo folder, uh, if I just do ls, you can see it is going to show all the files available within that particular folder, like Cypress, Cypress.json, package.json. That's it. At the moment, we don't really have any git really initialized over here. So if there is a uh, dot git folder, you will see that uh, there will be uh, there is no file or directory at the moment, which means the git is not available in this particular project. But if you have any of the project which has got git in it, so it will have the dot git subdirectory, which is like a hidden directory within your uh, machine uh, so that you can see uh, whether that particular directory has got any files and stuff. Well, that is not the case at the moment, which means there is no Git itself. Uh, so now we are going to add this particular project within our uh, Git. So now we're going to make this particular project as a local Git repository. So for doing that, we are just going to do this. We are going to do a Git init. So once we do this Git init, you will see that it says initialized empty git repository in user karthi kk cypress demo dot git. So this is the directory I was talking about. So which means something has really happened over here. And this particular EZHS uh, terminal is showing me a lot more detail because I have customized it a bit. And you can see that it tells me that this particular cypress demo is on git with a master branch. So it automatically tells me and it's put me a question mark here with a four. Which, which means like there are four changes available which has to be checked in. So what are those changes that we need to be doing? So we first saw git init command. And if I just do a git status over here, it will tell you even more detail. It's gonna say you that it is on the branch master that I just told you over here. And there is no commit yet, which means I have not made any commit so far. And there are some untracked files like these files. Uh, and it also says that a very, very helpful command saying use git add file to include in what will be committed, which is quite cool and interesting information. So this is how git local repository tells me a lot more detail at the moment. So if I just do like what it is telling me something like git add of probably the package.json file, if I just add that, you will see that the color has been changed here a bit like an orange color, which means something is in progress, something is happening at the moment. So the terminal is pretty intelligent enough to tell me that. Uh, so instead of four before it has changed to three, which means uh, there is three untracked files still uh, and there is one tracked file. Uh, and then if I just do a git status this time, it will tell me that uh, there is a, a new file like package.json which is currently in unstaged, and this is the file which is still untracked. And now you may have some question like, what is this unstage? What is this uh, untracked files? And what is this commit? What are those things that you have never heard about? Why is it suddenly coming in over here in the Git? Well, to understand this, we just need to go back a bit about the basics of the Git itself. Basically, in Git, all we are going to have is going to be like a file with three states, which is like a working directory and then like a modified state. And then there is going to be a staged state. And if you do any commit, it goes to the committed state, but it will be in the staged environment for you. And then once you try to do a push, it will be like it will be pushed to the particular repository. 
and then you will have an untracked file if you don't really add that particular file on the git repository so in this case we have really not added any files to the git that's why you could see there are like three files coming in over here so this is what is currently happening at the moment in our git repository all right so now what has really happened is now we have something over here on that particular uh, git directory itself so if i just do a cd dot uh, git over here and if i do an ls you could see that there is still nothing sitting on this particular directory so you don't really have to worry about this directory because it will take care of things automatically once we do some code push and everything so let's come out of this directory we don't really have to worry about it as i told you but now we have still some untracked file if we just do a git status uh, and there is a tracked file but once we have this tracked file what are we going to do basically well, those things we are going to be discussing in our next video.